Hey, how's it going, guys? This is KNASSY3090 here, and I am doing an IRL in real life pack opening. We have some Donruss Panini MLB cards. We got Ortiz on the cover. It's a blaster box I got from Amazon. It contains either one autograph or memorabilia. On average, it says per box. So I'm assuming you're, I'm, I hope you're guaranteed one. If not, maybe you can get two. Also, it says look for some like 1982 test proofs. So we have that as an option too. Now there's seven cards, seven boxes, I mean seven packs per this box, six cards per pack. So hopefully we can get some good stuff. Now with Donruss and um, Panini, actually in 2016, they don't have the rights to do um, baseball. So if, if you pay attention to these cards, I'll show you guys. Um, you cannot, they will not show the logos of the teams. It'll say like Boston when it says the Red Sox and they'll take out all the logos of the players. But we'll take the packaging off. And let's just take a look, and there you go, there's that. Now we're going to open it up. And let's see what we can get. Now if you guys want to see more IRL pack openings like this, make sure you drop a like on the video. I am enjoying doing these, either doing breaks, or um, just opening packs of my own if you want to see what a pack looks like. There you go. A little Donruss, and let's see if we can get some fire. I like their football packs a lot, so I'm hoping their baseball packs are fire. Like I said, now they... If you're a person who really wants to see like the logo on these cards, then you won't find them in these. These packs are difficult to open. So let's try this one instead and come back to that later. One thing I don't like about baseball cards and football cards, sometimes it can be difficult to open, but we got this one. So let's start this off right as we get, hey, to start off, we got my team, Xander Bogarts right there. As you can tell, zoom in, you don't have the, look, the Red Sox logo on it. So you don't have that. Um, we got John Lester, a former Red Sox. John Lester. So moving on, we got Brian McCann. It says he's on New York, but he's on the, uh, this is 2016. He is now on the uh, Astros. We got a John Smoltz. So that's a legend card for Atlanta. It's pretty cool. I don't think that's numbered. I don't think it's rare or anything. Nope. Here we go. We have a Diamond Kings San Diego Matt Kemp. That looks really nice, guys. That looks really cool. Is that... Numbered it is not, however, it does look amazing. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And then a Steve Carlton card, which looks really cool, like that um, style. It is not numbered, but still looks really cool nonetheless. I really like how these Donruss look. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments how you do you think these cards look nice? Do you like think just tops look better? I mean, this isn't an overly high end item. If you guys want me to buy some more <laughs> high end items, let me know either in the comments or just by watching, liking the video. If I get enough views in here and people want to see it, I'll gladly do more. It's something I'm really enjoying doing these. And if you guys want to see, maybe in a future video or two, if you guys want to see what I have pulled, um, I can definitely show you guys some of the nice like autographs, some relics, some jerseys um, that I have pulled. I have actually gotten some really good cards. Start this off with a Vanderbilt grad, but this is from the A's, Sunny Gray. Moving on, <clears throat> we got Adam Jones from the Baltimore Orioles. One of the best shortstops in uh, baseball all of right now, Francisco Lindor. We got a Cal Ripken legend card. Oh, that's old school. He's playing at Fenway, but that's him in the 80s just by his body type. I don't think that's numbered. No, it's not, but it's still cool. We got a Dansby Swanson. Swanson excuse me. I think it's for Arizona, so this is before he got traded. And I'm not sure what it says on that. It doesn't want to focus. Come on, camera. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. It says the prospects. I thought it said top. It is not uh it is not numbered or anything like that. And we got a George Brett legend. So I guess all these have a legend card in it. We got ourselves a George Brett right there. That's cool. So we have two packs down. We got five more to go. Let's see if we can get that an autograph or memorabilia in this. I think it's guaranteed, but I don't know for sure. We got a Yoenis Cespedes for the rest of us. We got a Kirby Pocket legend. I like that. Kirby Pocket. Again, he's playing at Fenway. You can tell by the green in the background. They're playing at Fenway. So that's thick. Is it? No, it's not numbered. Justin Upton. This is back when he was on uh, San Diego. He is now a Detroit Tiger. We have a Miguel Sano rookie card. That looks really nice. It's different. See on the top right, it says RC. That means rookie card. It is not numbered, but it looks cool nonetheless. 
We have a Greg Bird, the rookies. This one is not numbered, but we got Greg Bird. Yankee fans seem to love the bird. And last, legend, another Cal Ripken. Another Cal. That one uh, looks a little later in his career, maybe in the early 90s. That's m not really late in his career, because he'd be tired, I think, it's 2000 or 2001. Had a hell of a career. Probably a top three shortstop of all time, in my opinion. And you got Jeter, you got Cal Ripken, Ozzy Smith's up there. I mean, A-Rod, when he was a shortstop, was one of the best of all time, but he only played half his career there. I'll see this Escobar, another pretty good shortstop for the Royals. Nelson Cruz for the Seattle Mariners. David Wright. And here we go, guys. I think this is our auto. It's actually not a bad one. It's a Yankee. No, it's not an auto, but it is numbered from 122 to 199. Rob Ref Snyder. Robert Ref Snyder for the Yankees, second base. That's pretty cool. And here we go. We got an autograph. Former Red Sox. Let's go. If you're an LSU Tiger fan, you're going to like this. Is this numbered? It is not numbered. So it's not ultra rare, but it's still really cool. It's not on card. It's a sticker auto. But it's Anthony Ronaldo for, this says Texas. Former Red Sox. Prospect. Former LSU Tiger. That's amazing, guys. I love it. It's not a rookie auto. But it is really cool if you want to see what the back of the card looks like. It says Anthony Renato 50. I thought that might say out of 50, but no, it just says 50. It is not numbered. Still really cool. I'm pumped about that. We got an auto and a number card in that pack. And AJ Pollock. Now, he's not a legend, but it has that legend print on that AJ Pollock. So that's really cool. So we got three packs left. We got an auto. We got a number card. Can we get lucky and get a second auto? This is on average as one, but can we be above average? That would be dope. That would be awesome. We got your oh this rest in peace. Your Dono Ventura sucks that yeah they uh he got tragically killed. Rest in peace, your Dono. Corey Kluber, Cy Young winner there. We got a Andrew McCutcheon. That card looks cool with the yellow on it. I don't think that's numbered. I think that's just the way it looks. But I just I like the yellow on that. We got McCutcheon. We have a Michael Taylor for the Washington Nationals. Oh boy. Power Alley rookie card, Kyle Schwarbo. His Schwarber, we got a Schwarbo. <laughs> got the nickname before the real name. I don't think that's numbered. Nope, but hey, we got a Kyle Schwarber, I'll take it. And lastly, Eric Hosmer. Again, that's like the legend print, but it's a current player. Is that from the World Series? No, because that was on the road when they did that against the, um, the Mets. That looks like that player that he just like broke home. But I thought they were on the road and he's wearing his home jersey there. But still looks cool. Last two packs of this box, guys. Can we get another auto? I don't want to be greedy. But hey, I'll take it. Chris Bryant. NL MVP from last year. And then we got Mookie Betts. Runner-up MVP for the American League. Jason Hayward. This is back when he was in St. Louis. For his one year of uh, duty there. Don Mattingly legend, even though that's just like a normal base card, but he is a legend in my opinion. We got a uh, rookie card, rated work rookie, excuse me, uh, Cattell Marte, I might have got his first name wrong, for the Mariners organization, not numbered or anything. He is a shortstop. That's pretty cool though. And then lastly, we got a Pete Rose legend card. Bet the house I was going to get that, right? Nothing really special about that card, but hey, it's a Pete Rose card. And last pack, guys, of the box. Can we be amazing Get that second auto or, like, a jersey? Unlikely, but, hey, you never know. First off, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Let's so get that to focus. Doesn't want to focus right there. And a little bit. David Ortiz, I'll take that. Cole Calhoun for the Angels. This is Los Angeles, but it's not focusing now. Let's see if I back up, zoom in. Camera, camera struggle on me right now. We got Adam Wainwright. Pitcher for the Cardinals. Johnny Cueto. This is when he was with Kansas City for that World Series run. And we got a checklist. That's kind of... Instead of like an insert, we got a checklist. That's kind of... It's kind of lame. And then last, our legend is a... It's a Sunny Gray card, but he's not a legend, but it's that legend print from 82. Looks cool. 
And that's all the uh, that's the pack opening. So the two big things we got this Anthony Renato autograph looks amazing, and then this Robert Ruff Snyder numbered out of 199. That's number 112. See in that bottom corner there. Let's see if it will focus. I don't think it wants to focus on me, guys. But trust me, it's 112 out of 199. That's it, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.